Hello, this is Circle Pop Productions, and we're going to do a reaction today in this video. Start with this community post, which will set us up. This was four weeks ago as of the filming of this video, so yeah, the Rx Matia Rofen posted this train apparently went into emergency due to a coupler issue separation between the freight cars. Feel bad for the crew, April 23rd, 2022. Here's a, a photo of the specific train which did went, go into an emergency. But yeah, we're going to watch the video which contains this. Uh, Alright. So I will catch you guys in the video and we will see how that happens. Okay, so we're ready to begin. April, well, this is the upload date, April 26, 2022. We're off Fullerton and Buena Park, featuring a three-way meet, uh, horns and more, and of course, the highlight will be the training and emergency accident. So let's just get right into it, check the volume, and start with the intro. Oh, and the thumbnail, yeah. Thumbnail, so I like this shot of the Metrolink and a container train, intermodal on the other track. So, yeah, let's get started. Before you watch, hit the subscribe button, it's totally free and it shows support. Now, remember, this was before he had his 1000 subs, so that's why it says we're close to him, but he already has a thousand forty plus and yeah oh and I like the soundtrack P42 DC's it's pretty nice <clears throat> That was a nice waste management garbage truck right there. Well, and I do like this horn action right now. It's a pretty good horn action. Some good horn action on um, Metrolink. We got another one on the other track. That's a pretty good, cool station. It's a pretty good view on the curve there. It's good perspective. Guys, 
It's interesting. So that freight is behind us, guys. So once we get off, we're gonna film it immediately. You know, because it's laziness right now. So see how that works. Okay. Let's see what happens. So we'll be rubbing them one apart in a bit, so we'll see you guys in the next clip. Oh wow, that was, I like that, that pulling out shot right there. <laughs> that was a pretty good, you no, know, I like that. All right, there goes Metrolink 661. All right, all right. I believe this is actually the, the you know, same shot from the thumbnail. Not the exact same one, but like the positioning of everything I, I see here is the same as in the thumbnail. And here's the Amtrak locomotives we saw, I think, uh, in the intro. Alright. Oh yeah, very nice to see other rail banners here too. Yeah, at Buena Park. Would be nice to see some clips from the bridge too, by the way. I noticed some glass there which might kind of have a coloring effect, but you know, I think it would be nice to see the... Well, actually, you know what? Maybe we have already seen bridge views here. I can't remember. SoCal Docks, Long Beach is this train's destination. I'm gonna say that I've already been around there. I don't know. Because I grew up in Long Beach area, so. But yeah, this comes from Clovis, New Mexico. It's pretty interesting to see that.
All right, that was a good start with the BNSF trains there. Good one. And literally, I just mentioned about the bridge views earlier here. And there we have it. Here is a bridge view. Excellent job, Matt. So let's watch this. Okay, we got BNSF B dash PH X LAC meets BNSF Z dash LAC NYC. <laughs> so you notice the names here Phoenix, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, New York City. And yeah, you can see that that's indeed the case with the destinations. So the codes do matter as far as destinations go. Keep that in mind. And you do have a fake bonnet, number 712. Very good perspective and view of it. And an H1. <laughs> it's about to skip that. This is number 1090. Yeah, wonderful shot. Oh yeah, and there's the meat. There's the other train. Excellent, and I do like the horn action. They got a locomotive. Oh, why did he skip that? Uh, normally, I don't do that myself when recording. Okay, but they are the same trains, I see. So one of them was Matt's recording on the, you know, Matt's camera on the tripod and this must be Matt's cell phone, I think. So that he could get both perspectives. Okay, that's a smart move. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, that that's pretty smart. Okay, so this train has ended. Now I'm just waiting for the other one. Well, I would have liked to see the end of that one as well. Oh well. Right back to Fullerton. Passing by this container train, <laughs> it's pretty close up to the to the metro link there <laughs> on this passenger view. But it's cool though. I do like these metro link train rides, by the way. It's a lot of like an adventure, so I do like watching these. So definitely keep making these into your videos, Matt. Oh, I like that. Nice transition there. Alright, so let's just see this match thing departing.
Alright guys, here comes an eastbound freight. Los Angeles to Northwestern Ohio. CSX. Wow. So let's just see this train right now. Left forward to now. ZSLE CW8 to Los Angeles to Northwestern Ohio. All right, and there is Norfolk Southern in the second locomotive, so very nice. Somebody's sleep got in the way there. <laughs> I'm not sure you saw that. But, oh, not going to do that. You see that? Somebody's shirt sleep got in the way. Who, who in the world said that? Well, it's not an insult, by the way. I'm just, I'm just curious. I just heard that high-pitched talking right there. <laughs> not sure if you guys could understand that, but yeah, I just think it's funny. That's why. Oh, you heard that? Did <laughs> you guys hear that? Who is saying that? Alright. That's, um... High-pitched voices. <laughs> it's funny, by the way. I'm just... I'm just pointing it out as, as humorous. Okay, great catch of that. Got a rail fan right there, and incoming Amtrak Surfliner. All right. And that's that. We got Barstu to Los Angeles Burning Yard, the Burlack, to BNSF.
All right, there it goes. It's a very nice view. Oh yeah, nice shot of that. I like that zoom in shot of Amtrak 573. Very, very zoom in shot there. I can see the the person right in there. The person that's operating the in the bread right there. It's pretty cool. Very good shot of the Amtrak. I like this position. Comes a Metrolink. Looking pretty good. Pretty nice shot there. Alright guys, again. Everything seems to be going fine for this train departing. Kids hint. We are now looking at the LAC bar. Los Angeles Burning Yard, the bar still. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to take this as a hint hint. So yeah, it's just departing, so that's why it's uh, coming in pretty slowly into the camera. Nice smoke from this locomotive coming out here. I like that. Yeah, you guys heard that noise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replay it, but yeah, air gets dumped. Some freight car got decoupled while the train was moving, and the emergency brakes had to be applied. Here, let's play that again so you can hear that. A 
right there. And right there, just then, the train goes into emergency. Hint, hint, I told you. I knew it was going to be in this clip. And it's pretty tough when you, your train goes into emergency, that's for sure. Things like that it's, does make it difficult for these engineers. Yeah, that sucks though. But yeah, it's pretty nice that Matt got to document it. Currently stopped. Not sure what they're gonna do now, but I'll reach you guys out in the next clip. Apparently, they had a freight car separation over there at Basta, like all the way down there. Where they had a freight car separation, both hey, cars separated. Anyways, um, I'll reach you guys out in the next clip. Yeah, I can definitely see that. You know, this reminds me of Millennium Force, who uh, several years back, he published a video of a CSX freight train that also got decoupled, you know, mid in the middle of the train. Not sure if you guys are familiar with it, but I remember watching that, and the only difference here was that Millennium Force's video, you actually see the the specific portion of the train where it gets decoupled, you actually see that happening in the in the shot. But you know, pretty much the same situation as this video, so that's why that's pretty much why I'm bringing it up. Sucks though. Thirty-two minutes later, everything is fixed and recoupled and rehosed. So I'm not sure exactly what led to the decoupling. Was it because the knuckles were not properly sealed? Or were the air hoses not properly connected? I don't know. But all we know is that it was repaired on the spot. Which is good because... <laughs> and I would have thought that maybe they had to do some more extensive work there. There you go guys, I think they're reverse, or they're going forward I think guys, so... They recoupled it. Alright, they're going guys, so here goes. They just recouple. Everything's all good. Here goes the lack part to Barso. Safe trips to this train. Yes, safe trips to this train for sure. Definitely don't want any more trouble.
Alright, so there it goes. Train is now in uh, in one piece again, and off to Barstow. You know, I was thinking it would be crazy if Matt would one day just come out and rail fan and next thing he knows, the train derails, flips over, or something like that. That would be very crazy. I hope it doesn't happen, but, you know, Matt already caught this train decoupling. I mean, you know, it went into an emergency. Uh, so, it only makes me wonder if this is a precursor to Matt recording a derailment. Hmm. I hope it doesn't happen though, but I'm just curious, curiously thinking here. Well, alright, let's move on to the next clip. I do appreciate Matt for sharing this with us. It's quite the unexpected occurrence. Northwestern are hired to LA from CSX to BNSF. Alright, very nice BNSF container train there, and I like the DPUs there as well. Alright guys, 777's 
arriving. Triple seven, all right. <laughs> and that triple seven, that's pretty nice. I really like the sound of the bell ringing there. All right, that was cool. Cool departure shot with that, with that horn there. Watson to Hereford, Texas. I, is that Watson Yard, California? Yeah, because Watson, Watson Yard, I've definitely been there, so I'm familiar with BNSF Watson Yard. That's cool to see this one coming up there. Oh, this one has an NS. It's cool. Uh, but you know what? Thinking about it, I don't think it's Watson Yard, the one I'm talking about, because this one is a container train, so I don't think it's BNSF Watson Yard in Wilmington, because that one is a freight yard. Yes, yeah, like boxcars and tankers. Maybe I'm missing something here. Correct me, please, actually. <laughs> I know people will tell me in the comments, oh, it's not Watson Yard, Eric. It's a different Watson. Well, let me know, please, which one it is.
Oh wow, so there's mid DPUs on this one. Basically this is a split between the container and the freight train. Okay, I don't see, I've never seen this myself in person, but I do know they do this. So that's a very good, interesting combination. Alright, that was a pretty interesting mix there of the train there. It's pretty nice to see with the mid and rare DPUs. See, that was cool. Metrolink 664 from LA to Oceanside. Let's see it depart. All right. I can hear a siren in the distance there, by the way. I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up, but there is a siren just randomly going off in the distance. Like an emergency siren from a fire department vehicle or something. Oh yeah, that's pretty good view from the bridge of Metro League 665. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now from the other side, looking at it from the right side. Pretty good shot. Very, very nice. Well, what what was that? <laughs> I just noticed the 
my camera kind of shaked there. <laughs> this is a BNSF Z L A C A L T Los Angeles Alliance, Texas. This is the final train according to the timestamp, so enjoy. And there we go. You are welcome for watching that. I appreciate you for sharing your experience with us. Be our first catch of an emergency, of a train going into an emergency. That was definitely the highlight for me here. Very well documented. Good explanation of what happened. And yeah, I did appreciate sharing that experience with us. And I also enjoyed the other trains. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, folks, on Matt's video, and definitely check him out if you haven't. I, I know most of you already know I've already subscribed to Arx Matt, but if you're new to this channel, I do recommend him for some more stuff like this, and I think you'll like what you see. So I will leave it at that for today. Is there anything else in the last seven seconds here? No, that's it. Alright, guys. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.